people who love to knit, crochet, or any type of fiber art. How are you? My name is Maddie. Today I'm going to be doing my December yarn haul. I have a lot of yarn to show you guys. I went to Joann's and I got quite a few balls of yarn since it was buy two get one free. And then I also got some yarn from a I got some yarn from a fiber store and it is local to me. It is called Flying Fibers. It has a lot of specialty yarns there and they're kind of expensive, but I really like their yarn, so I think it's definitely worth it. But yeah, let's just get into it. I am also wearing my newest creation. I haven't sewn in all the ends yet, obviously, but it is the Pinterest inspired top and I followed Aaron B's tutorial for it. And I really love it a lot. The shell pattern is really cute. The sleeves and the back is even cute too. So a big thank you to Aaron B for making that tutorial because if she didn't, I would have been lost. But yeah, let's just get right into it. So first, I got this beautiful, beautiful olive green color, and I am just obsessed. It is so perfect for the tarot pouches I make, or even a bralette with some sort of fun design on it. I'm just really excited to get into it. The color is olive green, and it is machine washable, big twist. You can make a lot of things with it because there's 380 yards of yarn in these balls. So the next color I got is called Light Rose. I'm just really, really excited to get into this color. I want to make a few coasters and maybe a bralette or two with this color. So the next color I have is Varsity Blue. I specifically got this color for my boyfriend's dad because I'm going to make him a beanie with this one. But I also really like this because I can make other things with it like the evil eye bag I've been seeing all over Pinterest and a lot of other projects too. The next color I got is this basic black. It is just called black. It is also big twist. And as you can see, I like this yarn a lot. And the main reason is because you can pull it out of the center and you don't have to roll it into a ball first before you use it. Then I got this color. It is called medium gray. And I just like this color a lot because it is a warm gray color. And I am using this color to make a pullover that is kind of like this but it doesn't have this part and it only has like a turtleneck with it. And this is the one arm I have completed. But yeah, I had to pick up another ball of this because I was running out of what I first started with. And then last but not least for the big twist, I also picked up a ball of this tan beige color. And I really like this color because it's super versatile. You can use it for any project pretty much. I used it for this project, as you can see, and it is just really pretty. I just love working with this color. Obviously, I already started using it because I'm obsessed. What else can I say? Now to get into the specialty yarn. So to start, I got this beautiful, beautiful, like toasty, orangey, yellow, brown, muted purpley like skein. And the brand is Plied. This ball of yarn is a 100% wool, 215 yards, 50 grams. This color is called Everyone's Place. I'm probably gonna use this to make my mom a present for Christmas. But just take a closer look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Okay, next one. I am super excited about this one. 
This one is so pretty. This one is called Blue Heather, and it is a lightweight yarn. I'm gonna wanna use this 3.75 to 4.5 millimeter hook with it. I just am really excited to use this. I'm definitely gonna make a bralette with this one. I really love it. It's by the brand Scout. It's 100% wool, 274 yards, 100 grams. Super, super plush. I really like it. And last but not least, it's not least, but it is last. This beautiful dark gray yarn. It is 60% merino and 40% organic cotton. It is just absolutely beautiful. My boyfriend requested a beanie with this one and it is Brooklyn Tweed by the brand American Wool. This kind is called Dapple and it's sourced the wool is sourced from Colorado and the cotton is sourced from Texas, which is really cool that they tell you where it's from. And it's spun in Two Rivers, Wisconsin and dyed in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, which is really cool because I'm from Pennsylvania. So yeah, these yarns were a little bit more pricier, but they were definitely worth it because they are just so, so beautiful. Ah, I have a lot of yarn now. This isn't even all of it. And so that means I have a lot of crocheting to do. So stay tuned for some more videos. Maybe I'll go live on TikTok. And my TikTok is Mad Art World as well. And I will do some crocheting on there. And stay tuned for maybe a tutorial on my TikTok soon. Or if you guys want, I can do a tutorial on my YouTube. These are all the beautiful colors I got. Thanks for watching. Bye. Love you. Bye, guys.